Well, good morning. Kind of a muggy morning as you look out there on the Syntex Roof Systems camera in downtown Waco. You can see some of the cloudy skies out there this morning. 67 right now. Winds on the calm side that is leading to some fog and spots, although it will eventually lead to the potential for more thunderstorms this afternoon. That's why a flood watch continues through this evening. Waco typical clean points to the east where you saw the heaviest rain here as of late. That is because we have the threat of adding more heavy rain later on today. Although right now the live radar network is quiet except for the dense fog advisory out towards San Saba. That's where you're having some of the dense fog. It could happen outside that advisory too, but not everyone going to see it this morning. Still give yourself some extra time in case you do if you get to work early and get an extra cup of coffee in. 67 to Waco now, 66 Colleen and Temple and lower 70s in the Brazos Valley. Dew points very muggy. You have the temperature, the dew point close together. That's the recipe for fog when you have light winds and that's exactly what we have this morning winds that are on the calm side. Eventually that moisture will fuel some showers and thunderstorms likely starting here late in the morning into the afternoon. I think it's in the afternoon we have to watch for some of those isolated strong storms to be possible. The highest risk risk will be down into the Brazos Valley. That's where you have you under the scattered risk of severe thunderstorms, more isolated activity as you work back towards Waco Temple Clean, but most everyone under a risk. And once again, looks like the biggest threat with this going to be the potential for large hail, maybe up to the size of tennis balls in spots winds to 60 miles per hour possible. Future track will show you we have the potential for those isolated showers and thunderstorms starting as early as the middle of the morning. As we get into the afternoon, we'll watch for another threat again, mainly to the southeast, but there's more at play here. It looks like it'll be a quiet afternoon here on future track, but part of that is hinging on the fact that future track thinks we'll get thunderstorms to develop down here towards southeast Texas. If that can happen here early in the day, that shuts us off for the flow of the Gulf of Mexico to where even though we have energy here, We'll also have sinking air behind those thunderstorms that they can get going. That squashes thunderstorm development, and so that's why it's showing that potential for a quieter afternoon. However, if that's not there, look at all the energy we have to interact with. That's why we're going to have to keep a very close eye on the potential here as we go through the day. If anything does pop up in that atmosphere, is able to take advantage of it. The threat is there again for large hail. We'll get that out of here, though, overnight, and tomorrow looks quiet. A thumbs-up day with nice weather on the way. Mid 80s on the way for tomorrow. We'll see things wind down. Maybe some thunderstorms come in from out west, but that's mainly our western counties. And then we get into Wednesday, maybe an isolated thunderstorm and warmer with temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s. Wherever these storms track today, they have the potential to throw out one to two inches of rain, which is why that flooding threat still exists. Even extended future track says it stays southeast to Waco Temple clean. And then we get into Thursday. Thursday looking like another wet day. That could once again feature the threat of some strong thunderstorms. So I think the bigger threat will be that potential for flooding rainfall again on Thursday. 60% chance of storms on Thursday. Things winding down into the weekend. And next week looks quiet, thankfully. So far, lower 90s on the way next week. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. It's going to feel hot with all the rain we've seen. High rain chances in the Brazos Valley today. 40% chance Thursday. Highs in the 90s next week.